Yeah, I started my professional career as, as a lawyer in, in, in the city of London. Uh, I was always a keen sailor in my early 20s, but uh, at that time the opportunities for me were, were, were not in sailing, so I spent a few years as, as a lawyer at a firm called Ashest. I'd always dreamed of being a, a professional sailor. All the time that I was training and, and, and practicing as a lawyer was is in the back of my mind. But to come on tour and, and do it justice and try and do well, I was going to have to do that full time. So I took a, a sabbatical from my, from my job at, at, at Ashurst and came and did a few tour events. Uh, and did okay and, and, and after that decided to, to go on the tour full time. It's a dream to, to do you know, any sport that you love doing, to do, it, to do that for a living is, is a dream for a lot of people and I consider myself very, very lucky to be able to do so. When I turned professional and became a professional sailor, really the, the, the match racing tour was, was where my focus was and how I measured my performance and, and really whether I was going to continue as a, a professional sailor or go back to being a lawyer was really down to how I performed on the Alpari World Match Racing Tour. The tour is, is a lot closer this year. There are five teams with a really good shot at, at winning. Because of the lead that Taylor's got, he, he's the guy that, that, that's got the target on his back. But it hasn't, hasn't been us that, that people have been gunning for. So obviously to, to win a fifth uh, match racing world championship would, would be incredible. At the present time, we're, we're level with the legendary Peter Gilmore on, on four wins uh, and just ahead of uh, a few other big names like Russell Coots, Ed Baird and, and Chris Dixon. So, to put our neck above you know, everybody else and, and go to five would, would, would be absolutely fantastic. GAC Pindar has been the same for the last three years now. We have uh, Matt Cassidy on the bow, Bill Hardesty on tactics and tailing, Mel Parker trimming, and Jerry Mitchell on the main. We have to approach this event in the same way we approach any event. We, we can't be thinking about the end result, you just gotta go out and take each race at a time. 10 point spread is a little more than we were hoping to have coming in here. We took some risk in Bermuda by choosing Taylor Canfield in that quarterfinal. So we're just going to have to really sell well here from the very beginning all the way through. The teams we're racing against have uh, got a lot better. So, you know, it's kind of up to us now to step it up and, and try and beat them, but the level's gone up. Whoever wins the event is going to win the world tour. We just got to put together a good regatta. You know, not really worry about who, who we're sailing, just win every race. And if we take care of our business, then things should fall into place. We've got more experience than everybody else here. We've been here for a couple of days training and it's been pretty good, the team's coming together. As a group, we've, we've always stepped up to the, the plate when we've needed to and, and won the previous two world championships. So hopefully we can do the same again and go three straight.